Hey guys, it's Emmy NES back again with another video. Today we're talking about Bioshock 2, the sequel to Bioshock 1, obviously. <laughs> so, um, and a, a sequel that I feel like most people don't really, I don't know, give as much credit as it kind of deserves, I suppose. I don't know, it is about even, I guess, with what people say. A lot of people just write it off like oh it's the sequel to Bioshock. Bioshock was so much better. You know, it is, obviously. Bioshock is a great game. It's a masterpiece of a game. And so a sequel that does more of the same and has a couple of different things with it is gonna be definitely um I guess seen as just derivative of the first game. And I understand that. Uh, but some people, like my friend John, prefer it. My fr my friend John Black, he's this is his favorite Bioshock game out of the three. Most people don't say Infinite is their favorite, but they at least say it's the second best one, and that's always the opinion that I've held too. But um, I had a lot of fun with the game. I mean, I ran through most of it in the first day there, and then the last few levels uh, I ran through today. So I mean. It was fun. Um, it was kind of one of those games where I just was like, you, you feel like it's going to end like at a certain point, and then it keeps going and going and going for you know, a, a, another couple hours at least. Um, in the last game, it felt like by the time you were done with the little sisters and like the big daddies and all that, like getting the little sisters, like harvesting or rescuing the little sisters, it's like the game's almost over at that point. But, but even then, it's like... There was a couple more hours after that, too, so I guess it is a lot like the first game in that regard. Um, but it still has that choice system. But I like here... Uh, spoilers for Bioshock 2, by the way. I like here how it has kind of... A, like, a realistic effect. Now, I, I know in the last game it was like the little sisters were the ones that were still corrupted if you, like, harvested them or whatever. Like, I guess they wouldn't exist. You harvested them. Anyway... Point being, um, if you save them in this game, it's not really about the little sisters surviving and going on to a better life. It's about this character, Eleanor, who's your daughter, who you're going on the whole adventure for. Um, because she was a little sister with you. You're a big daddy in this game, which is very different from the first game. Um, you know, in the first game, you're fighting against that, and then now you're, you are the big daddy, so... I think that's a really unique perspective to come at the game from, and a cool perspective, obviously, in that regard, um, to be playing the game as a big daddy, so, um, I think that was a good choice to go in that direction, you know, um, it adds one of the new elements to the game when, if you decide to rescue or adopt a little sister in this game, um, you can... Well, you you, got, you actually have two times that you can do it. You can harvest them the first time when you separate them from the Big Daddy. Or you can harvest them at the end after they've gathered more atoms. So it adds a new little layer to it too. Because you can go around to these corpses and gather atom. It's like really specific ones that you can do it on. But um, then they'll have like this little thing where like a bunch of enemies will be coming at you and stuff um so you kind of have to like learn to balance it and i don't know if you could do it in the last game i think you could i can't honestly remember but you can hack turrets and stuff in this game and like cameras uh i think i think maybe you could hack like the robots in the last game right the little drone guys but like not the not like the cameras and stuff like the cameras and stuff, if you hack those, as soon as enemies come into the line of sight, like, drones will come to attack them instead, and that's really cool. I think in the last game it just kind of disables the cameras, right? But in this game they add, like, a new layer to that. So hacking has, like, another big upgrade in this game, and I think that works really well uh, overall for it. Um, you even get this little gun that you can remote hack with, so you can, like, shoot these little darts... And they, like, either... There's an auto-hack one, and there's, like, you know, just a regular hack one. They also changed the hacking minigame. It's not like you play the little pipe game. Every time you hack something in this game, it's just, like, a little 
thing back and forth like in Resident Evil Gaiden and you just have to hit it in the green zones and they have like uh the gene things that like let you um expand the green zones and they let you like the thing move slower and stuff so that's that's helpful i kind of like that little hacking mini game better i think that works a lot better than that like pipe game that one was stressful uh not that i don't mind that because it adds like a nice layer of suspense to your puzzle gameplay when you're hacking stuff but you, you wouldn't be able to do that every time in this game because it's more quick paced with the hacking you know there's lots of little things you want to hack from a distance or you you're, you're doing in the midst of battle and whatnot so and that's another cool thing they don't really like like pull you away from the gameplay to start hacking and stuff you just you just do it right there it's like automatic you can do it while other things are happening it's really cool um so i like that i think that was a little a little bit of a good aspect there uh that they added what else oh so i was talking about eleanor and that storyline aspect they also i feel like anyway made the storyline a little bit more personal because you were attached to this little sister the whole game starts off with you shooting yourself in the head i don't know if the guy was under the like would you kindly curse or whatever even though the lady never says that i don't think um but um yeah she makes you shoot yourself in the head and then you basically are dead and then you just wake up like years and years later and and uh your daughter's like in touch with you to like get to her and save her or whatever um so that's fun i mean that's interesting i mean it's a good it's a good motivator you know in the last game it was like you were doing all this stuff for other people and you were really as much of a part of the story you were a little bit but like I don't know. This felt more personal. I kind of like that. Um, but in some ways, I, I always I also feel like the previous story and stuff was like more well rounded and like fleshed out, more details and stuff. But I like the more personal aspect to this story. It's more character based rather than like here's all these events happening that were really significant, you know. So they kind of went a different direction with that too, which was cool. But you do get a lot of little extra backstory from the previous game you know um you spent a lot of time in fontaine's areas so uh and and in uh andrew ryan's like amusement park or whatever that was a level so a little bit more added to the world of rapture and the lore behind all of that so that, that was cool i think um it's a really unique setting you know and obviously to do more in that area was a good idea i am glad in the third game they kind of mix it up a little bit and they go in a different direction you know um different area and stuff but i i think that rapture is a cool area and i'm glad that we got that for a couple of games um could they have done something different sure but i think they still had a little bit more to do in this area and they probably wanted to reuse some assets and whatnot not that anything feels like super reused but um you know it's very it's very similar atmospherically a lot of the time so i mean i could see i could see that being a complaint with people or whatnot you know maybe i didn't mind it though i thought it was good um yeah so but I like I like the whole storyline with the daughter. I like the the little sister aspect. I thought that was good. It adds more um, nuance and variety to like picking up the little sisters. Like you just in the in the last game, it really didn't matter that much. You would just you would just kill the big daddy, and then the little sister you would decide, you know, and that was kind of it, and that was the whole thing. But then in this game, it's it's you know, there's another layer to it. There's more layers to it. It's like an onion. There's, you know, it's very, it's very layered. Cakes? Cakes have layers? <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah. Um, what else? You get some new weapons, like the rivet gun and a couple other things like that. That was cool. Um, 
a lot of the same plasmids and whatnot, but they have a lot of different, like, little upgrade things, because, you know, you have a little few different mechanics in this game, but a lot of the similar ones, too, so... It's more of Bioshock. If you like Bioshock, you like Bioshock, you're gonna like this game too, probably, you know, um, if you wanted more of that. And I did play the DLC, and there's, I know there's DLC in Bioshock 1 as well that I've never played, but, you know, it's, it's just one of those things. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll get to it one day, but I, I don't know, I've never heard it was, like, super essential or anything to play those, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um... But yeah, oh, the drill. That was another big uh, addition. You know, that's another weapon. It's iconic, right? The Big Daddies always have the drills. And so you get to use the drill now. And it's actually a pretty satisfying, like, close-range weapon. But, you know, um, a lot of times guys are all over the place, like, firing at you and stuff. I went very fire plasmid uh, focused in this one. But I used the electric one a couple times and... I think that's how I was in the last game, too. I like fire uh, and when it comes to these kind of games. Like, that's kind of my, my thing there. So, that's what I used. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's more, more, more Bioshock is really what it comes down to. It's a sequel, you know? So, I think at the time, that's probably what we all wanted was more Bioshock. But uh, maybe some people felt betrayed by that because they felt like you know, the first game was so creative, and then now we're just doing more of the same, um, and I think that's why they took the third game kind of in a different direction there, is because that was the kind of the common complaint at the time, but I, I think it's a worthy sequel to Bioshock in a lot of ways, but, uh, you know, maybe not, just not as classic as the original game, and many regards but it's a it's a great addition and a great sequel to the series and at the end of the day if we have if, if we want to like be like you know we're not gonna dis include this one from the series or something you know it's like i'm glad we have bioshock 2 because it is more bioshock 1 with lots of new things to explore and do and stuff and new areas and new gameplay things to keep it fresh and interesting you know so i like it uh, you know that's what it really comes down to i mean it's i know this isn't like a super in-depth or like long review but i i find it to be a good fun shooter game you know and it's very much very similar to the first game so a lot of things i said about the first game apply here and they added new stuff which is cool so i think overall it's a great sequel a great game Maybe not as great as the original, but I, I really still enjoyed it a lot. Um, so, and the story is more character-focused, and, you know, you, you kind of feel more emotionally, like, attached to uh, the purpose, the goal, saving your daughter kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so it's a nice little storyline. It's a nice ending, you know. I think it works. It works good. Uh, it's a good sequel, so... A great sequel. Um, but not maybe not like a 10 out of 10 sequel. Maybe like a 9 out of 10 kind of sequel. So that's what I'm going to give it. A 9 out of 10. So, um, Of course the music is still great too. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that a lot in the last review. If the music was good or not. But both games have great, good music. And um, you still have all the same stuff. The audio logs and whatnot all that stuff it's, it's very similar to the original if you like the original try this one you're probably gonna like it kind of thing so there it is uh bioshock 2 done um so until next time this has been emmy nes saying stick around for more reviews underrated games and i'll see you guys in the next one emily